Want to get better at your tarot card reading skills? Then this video may help you. Hi, my name is Akshya Kavde. I am a nature and animal communicator, which means I can speak to plants, animals, and other species and have two-way conversations with them. I've also been a tarot card reader for the past 12 years, and now I'm integrating both these modalities to ensure that I connect with nature and animals around me in a more effective manner. So in this video, I'm going to share with you six tips that I use regularly to ensure that I get better at my tarot card reading skills. Now remember tarot card reading or even animal communication are such topics that there is just never ending. You can keep learning new things. There's just so much more to know. So bear in mind that when we speak of getting better at a skill, it means that we get better from where we are and not that we know everything about it. So be kind to yourself and keep reminding yourself that you know you need to take it slowly, step by step, and not hurry into the process. Even after 12 years of knowing tarot card reading, I always come across some new and it really you know I'm in awe for how much tarot card reading really has to offer so please be kind to yourself and hope these tips help you so tip number one is creating a relationship with your own cards you may be using the Rider Waite deck you may be using any other deck or you may be even using Oracle cards it's very important for us to understand our cards and to know our cards inside out so ensure that you make time every single day or every alternate day to remove your cards and go through them one by one look at the cards look at the pictures the visuals the colors and everything that the card has to offer and you never know what suddenly you might resonate with and what new meaning you may learn from it. In fact, when I started le learning tarot cards, I used to do this every single day. Now also every once a week or once in 15 days, I'll make sure that I'll get my cards out and I'll go through each and every card so that I learn more from them. Because at every stage of your journey as a tarot card reader, the cards will have something new to offer. The cards will have something fresh to offer and you will have a fresh perspective on your cards as well. So number one is to create a relationship with your cards every single day and to see your cards every single day. Number two is the extension of the same point, create a relationship with your cards. Now this could be anything that makes you feel closer and create a stronger bond with your cards. It could be just sitting with your cards every morning. It could be, uh, you know, uh, looking at your cards like we discussed every day. It could be just touching your cards every day. It could be even just thinking about your cards every day, but ensuring that you create that bond and a relationship with the cards. So tip number two is do something as a routine with your cards every day even if it is for like a few seconds like five seconds ten seconds it doesn't matter but ensuring that they are a part of your everyday routine really helps you integrate your energies with the cards and makes you a better tarot card reader as well so the tip number two is to ensure to create a better relationship with your cards tip number three of course is to keep revising the meanings of your cards now remember that every card has multiple meanings you cannot possibly by heart the meanings neither can you know all possible meanings uh, so ensure that you take it slow be thorough with at least one meaning of each and every card and keep practicing it till you reach a place where the minute you see the card you know what it means uh, so one is to of course ensure that you see the cards every day uh, you create a relationship with them. The next is, of course, to ensure that you revise your meanings every single day. So you can revise the meanings that you have learned, that you have studied from a book or whatever your own meanings are. You can also do that. So tip number three is revise your meanings every single day. No matter how experienced you are, you could be someone who has been doing it for a few days, weeks, months or even years like me card revision is very very important because that is how you will know more about the cards tip number four is to uh, use the card meanings in different situations so this is also something that is very important because a certain card will have various different meanings in various different aspects of our life so for example it will mean something for our personal life our professional life our health our love life uh, it could mean something to do with our career to with, do with our education to do with intimacy and our sexual relationships so every card has so many facets and 
and it's important for us to understand the meaning of that card in each and every facet so make these columns or know the categories that you want to know about the meanings of the cards and then when you pick up each card ensure that you know or you write down or you make a mental note of what that card could mean in these each and every facet so initially you could begin with the basics like uh, you know personal life career health and um, uh, relationships or uh, mental health or emotional health you can decide and then ensure that you know the meanings of each card in those uh, sectors that you have decided so that's a uh, 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 something that you need to do every day is one know the meanings of the cards but next also ensure that you know what each card means in these different categories okay so that is tip number four tip number five is to practice readings so a lot of people feel that the more cards you pull out the more information you get and the better the reading is but i have a different perception about it uh, i'm not saying it's right or wrong it's just my personal uh, opinion is that when i pull out a few more cards in a spread it gives a very specific answer and then i can keep asking more questions rather than pulling out 10 cards and making it a big complicated spread for myself to understand and this is very useful especially for people who are just starting out so if you have just started out then please don't try to you know pull out uh, constantly keep pulling out a 10 card celtic spread or spreads which have 14 cards and 7 cards begin with the basics one card two card three cards are enough to give you any kind of information you need and instead of then uh, expecting all answers in one spread keep asking more questions so that you gain more clarity on the topic so every single day practice with one two or three cards every day pull out at least one spread for yourself maybe how your day is going to be or if something is important how that is going to turn out for you and ensure that you practice uh, pulling cards out as well that is extremely extremely important because otherwise we can't be tarot card readers without pulling cards and the final uh, sixth point is to keep studying it is very very important that we keep upgrading our skills and we keep studying about these tarot cards and especially with again like i say with tarot cards with animal communication there's so much to learn and there are so many avenues through which we can learn there are books there are videos there are free online resources there are courses so in whatever way you can invest time wise money wise ensure that you keep upgrading your skills and keep learning more things because i'm sure what i learned 12 years ago and what i can learn today is very very different and that is how you will keep building up on your skills and you'll get better as a as a tarot card reader as well so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you learned something new if you did please mention it in the comment section below also if you have any tips and tricks to get better as a tarot card reader mention that also in the comment section below so that we can all learn from each other's experiences and until the next video bye bye